Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. Today's video is not something very spectacular, but it's something very useful on a daily basis when you work with other developers. The question is, what happens when multiple developers try to test their code and their Databricks workflows at the same time using different branches? Remember, you can only deploy one branch from Azure DevOps. Until recently, what I did was to wait for other developers to finish their testing to, in order to deploy my branch and test my code. However, a good colleague of mine showed me another way to work with different branches simultaneously. The solution is Databricks repos. You have to clone the repository from Azure DevOps along with your branch and import the library which is based on your branch. Then on your Databricks workflows, you have to change your notebooks to point to the notebooks that you have in the repository that you have imported, cloned from Azure DevOps, which is based on your branch, along with the equivalent library, of course. I know it sounds a very tedious process, however, believe me, it's better than waiting hours on end for the other developers to finish. But without any further ado, let's see a practical example. Okay guys, so here we are on Azure uh, DevOps, we have our repo and here as you can see we, have, we are on the master branch we have a Databricks asset bundle and we are going to deploy a workflow now this uh, workflow will point to this notebook here which is this one and here as you can see we have a print statement which says this is branch here we are on the master branch, right? And here on our uh, job, the name of this uh, workflow would be demo underscore pipeline. And here we have our Azure DevOps uh, configuration. So let's say we deploy this master branch. Let's create a, a DevOps pipeline. Let's do that. So here, yep. And then we run this pipeline and we're going to deploy the a typical workflow via the uh, Databricks asset bundle. But we are going to use, we are going to deploy the master branch, right? And it's good to deploy the master branch so one person can test the changes. Now, as you can see here, I don't have any workflow or anything, I haven't deployed anything yet, so let's wait for the bundle to be deployed. Okay, so the uh, workflow has been deployed, as you can see here, the pipeline, the Azure DevOps pipeline runs fine, and here we have our workflow, which is based on the master branch. Now, when we open the workflow, we will see the job, and we will see the tasks. Now, the tasks, as you can see here, this task is pointing to this notebook here, let's open the notebook and in the meantime just uh, notice these dependent libraries we have the library that is being built using Poetry and Databricks Asset Bundles and it's in the third folder now if you go into your workspace and then if you check the third folder you will see the bundle here if we open the bundle Let's open it, and here we have the files. Now, inside the files, you will see we have the dist uh, folder, and here we have the library that we install on our workflow. And also notice here is the notebook, and this is the code that we have in this notebook. As you can see here, we have this is branch. So this is the code and the library which is based on the master branch here, right? Now, what happens if another developer is trying to work using another branch? And this is the, que the initial question. So let's go back to our repo and you will see I have an, one more branch here. And uh, this is, it's called other branch. And the only changes I've made on this other branch is that here on the code, this print statement is a bit different it says this is branch other branch and also 
the pipeline it's called uh, demo pipeline underscore other okay so let's say that we want to work and test our code on this other branch but without without deploying uh, anything else than the master branch so one thing you can do here you go into your workflows then it's pretty easy to clone the job give it a second let's clone this job here the demo job so disconnect from source and then clone job called it uh, test right let's create this clone job and here as you can see now we need what we want is here a different path and updated version of this demo underscore branch notebook which has the code of the other branch so let's uh, go into our, our workspace and use here workspace click on repos and then create git folder here is the git uh, URL so here you are going to paste the Azure DevOps URL as you can see here I point to Azure DevOps which is this one here right this URL here and then git provider Azure DevOps services the git folder name and then create git folder it will take a few minutes and then you will also need to provide uh, probably credentials I have already done that but if it asks you for credentials you go into your uh, repo here uh, let's go into the repo and then uh, clone and then generate git credentials and then use this password in order and in order to access Azure DevOps so I have already done that so if we go into our workspace you could see that I cloned the repo but here now it's in the master branch but here I can change the branches so let's select the other branch right okay perfect now we have the repo which is based on the other branch the code is based on the other branch and what we have to do here now back to our cloned uh, workflow so give it a second to here in the cloned workflow let's go to the task and instead of pointing to this path then we click here and instead of the third folder that contains the Databricks Asset Bundle uh, uh, code based on the master branch we select our user here we select the repo then select the notebook bronze demo bronze and we click confirm so now if you open this notebook here you will see the code of the other branch and this is what we want now one last step here as you can see the dependent library is based on the Databricks asset bundle library but we have to change that uh, this is a bit uh, different because we have okay we cloned the repo from Azure DevOps here we chose the branch that we want but now the library is being built when we deploy the Databricks asset bundle so we haven't done that for the other branch what we have to do is go into our VS Code or whatever editor you are using and uh, build your library again and import the library okay so in our VS code here we have to type poetry build and it's going to build our uh, library our Python wheel and in our local environment and from our local environment we are going to import it into our Databricks workspace so we have imported the updated library which is based on the other branch right and here let's go back to our uh, cloned job here and click on add again remove the library and then 
use, install the library that we have in our workspace, which is based on the other branch. And then you can save the task and then run, run it based on the other branch. So these are the steps to work with multiple branches. Now, if you want to work with another branch that you have here, you can select the, the branch you want. You can create a branch as well, etc., etc. The only thing that you have to do, aside from cloning the repo from Azure DevOps, is to upload, every time you change the code on this branch, you have to rebuild the library and upload it here. And in your cloned uh, job, everything stays the same. You can also use a different uh, compute, um, a different cluster to run your code. So this is how you can work with multiple branches simultaneously and multiple developers can test their code and their workflows at the same time. So you don't, ha you don't have to wait for other developers to finish their work. So it's pretty simple. You click on repos, create git folder, and then you clone your repository from Azure DevOps. And, you, and then this is it. So you provide the git repository URL, uh, the folder name, uh, it will ask you for, uh, if it asks you for a password, click on uh, go into Azure DevOps on the three dots, click on clone, generate git credentials, and then create, uh, copy and paste the password. And it's that simple and you can work with multiple branches at the same time. This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one, thank you.